All right. Buh, 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 buh. All right, all right, all right. We did it. We're recording. Yes, we are recording. Test, test, test. All right. Yeah, so go ahead and tell me about this drama in the Power Rangers community. What's going this on? This drama in the, in the Power Rangers community. This I was looking through. I was, I've was. i been watching a lot of like Power Rangers compilations lately, so I had a bunch of Power Rangers shit in my recommended. Yeah. And I came across the face of... Blake Foster, who is famous for playing the Blue Ranger and Power Rangers Turbo. Infamous, some might say. Because the thing about the Blue Ranger and Power Rangers Turbo is he was like 12 years old and people hated that there was a fucking 12-year-old child Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like 30 now because it's been 20 years. But you figured that they would be okay came... with it. Yeah, but some drama came up because the new... Gold Ranger in the new series Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Apparently, Blake Foster still watches Power Rangers and is not very happy with this character. He went on fucking Instagram and was like bullying this kid who was the Gold Ranger in Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Jesus. And everybody's like, wow, Blake Foster's a bully, and like the Power Rangers community is arguing about whether Blake Foster's a bad person or not. For shitting on this kid. He shouldn't even have a freaking problem. His time in, you know, in the sun is done and over with. You figure that he would have had, he would have made He had his nuts. time in the sun 20 years ago when he was a little boy. Well, now he can't, he's just salty that he doesn't get it anymore. That's, that's kind of fucked. Probably. Dear God, this universe really is just sort of collapsing in on itself. And there's just no hope for this planet at all because everyone's just too busy wondering what the, the freaking old Power Ranger from an old freaking se Power Ranger series thinks about like a the Power, infamous Power Ranger series. 12 year old now. Power Ranger. Good God. Okay, let's go ahead and just start the show. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly doo. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I am your host, Mo Diggity. And unfortunately, one of our co-hosts, Robin, is uh, feeling super sick right now. She's got a wicked bad stomach bug, so she's not going to be joining us today. So we'll try and go ahead and get her on next week. But joining me still without a, uh, without a bug at, at, at all whatsoever. And you can see, you can really hear that I'm sort of coming down with some sort of like seasonal freaking allergy thing because... <laughs> There was just I I got bitch slapped this morning with uh, pollen, just like right out up the ass, just like I, I'm so stuffed up right now. It, it's just I am I am fully. Congested. I'm a little stuffy myself, actually. Oh okay okay well, uh, tell us about it then, Mister Riley. Welcome to the welcome to the sick cast where everybody's sick. Yes, welcome. To I'm the sick getting a lot cast. better. Last night I was stuffy to the point where, like, I was doing another podcast and I have a character that I play for a segment and I have to do, like, a stupid voice. And I was at that point of stuffiness where I'm like, this voice is not going to come out right. So I, so I, I said as a, as a bit that, the, that the, the character came down with the coronavirus and couldn't make it to the show that week and just did the segment in my normal voice. No, oh, dear God. <laughs> uh, so today you, uh, you suggested... A really interesting topic for a podcast episode, and I think I really like it because I think it's something that everyone can relate to, and that's food. Everyone loves food. You love just like grabbing tons of food and stuffing it into your fucking mouth and into your freaking gut, and then you're wondering why you're you're fat as shit and forty years old living with your <laughs> mom and dad. Uh, you know, just try to make it day by day. Oh wait, that's me, not anyone else. Oops. I didn't know uh, your topic was gonna. Th this topic was gonna bring in such inner turmoil for you, Mo. Well, you know, like food does. Help, you know, food can uh, uh, cure and cause depression. You know, like if you're depressed, it might not be a great idea for me to say stuff a freaking meatball sub into my freaking gullet. You know, maybe I should like have a salad or just not eat at all because I don't know what it is. Like, if I'm feeling bummed out, the last thing I ever need to do is eat. 
because whenever I eat and I'm depressed, I'm like, God, I'm such a fat fucking pig. I'm so disgusting. Um, 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 um. Yeah, and, I'm and, depressed about how fat I am too, but like it's hard to stop eating. Well, because I'm just like, the f- Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking gross fat incel, and nobody likes me. Well, so, but see, the the food is so good, it, it, you don't want to stop eating because you're depressed, because you're fat, and you're fat because you're depressed, or you're fat just because you don't really do like you have a sedentary lifestyle. And you sit on your ass a lot. Like I sit on my ass a lot. I, I try to stand up as much as I possibly possibly can but i'll be honest i do fail at that like a lot (laughs) but anyway i hate standing up i know i have to do it but i don't because at least i get the five days a week of walking because i have to go to fucking high school because i'm 17 well that's good Uh, like i'm glad that high school man mandates that you need to have at least one pe class every like quarter of your semester that way, um, that's definitely not it anymore. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Um, Back in my day, that's how they had it. One, what do they do now? You have, take, you have to take one year of PE, but there's also an all the PE is not the part that's actually required, it's like the health part of PE where they teach you the health class. So, if you don't want to actually do the PE part of PE, you can take the health part of PE online, and that can count. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Like, Which how... I didn't even have to do because I'm on this, like, I'm on the fucking program where I only need 18 credits instead of 24 because I didn't get 24 because I'm dumb and I failed a bunch of shit. Oh, shit. So I don't need the health class, but I do need to make up a couple more classes and get my GPA. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Riley. Riley. Riley dropped on us. Oh, there he goes. There he is. <laughs> All right, you're, did a, did a... Yeah, fuck it. Discord sucks so much ass, man. You know when I at everyone now? I used to just be able to press enter twice, but now I have to manually... Like, I, I know this is total, totally like hashtag first world problems, right? But, you know, if if you're going to like code something and he says, All right, press enter again to submit this, uh, to submit this uh, statement or this post, and it doesn't let me, then I get pissed off. So, yeah, you know, I know it's like fractions of a second that I don't even need. But, you know, those fractions do add up to to actual seconds, seconds to minutes, minutes to half hours, half hours to hours, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I'm kind of fascinated. Yeah, time adds up. Like, uh, you know, when you look at your podcast app and you see since you downloaded it, you've listened to 10 entire days of podcasts. God like, damn. Jesus Christ. That's 10 well, days I could have used in any other way i wonder if we do an episode of like podcasts we like on a podcast would that be like podcastception like some sort of inception uh of podcast i mean we already did the pcp episode well yeah but we're fans of like that specific we can we can make the pcp podcast like a specific subject but if we make it about multiple podcasts like we start talking about like how how much we like the biggest problem in the universe or thought cops or the dick show or the loudest podcast or something you know does it would the podcast universe implode in on itself? Uh, you know, I, I know Let's there's. Try it. Let's do it next week. I know there's a show called "Who Are These Podcasts?" where the dude like gets a co-host every week, and they uh, they rate podcasts. And they're normally just shitty, shitty podcasts, and they just tear it all to shreds. But you know, I'm wondering if we can like break the internet by uh, uh, making a podcast episode about podcasts that we like. Podcast, podcast, podcast. Yeah, who are these mocasts? <laughs> you know, I've been watching a lot of Dark Side Phil lately. I've been trying to be more cognizant about how many times I snort on the mic. Because there is a- a- an hour long, or I-, I think it was an hour or 20 minutes long uh, YouTube video. And it's nothing but Dark Side Phil about DSP's fucking snorts. Because it's like... <laughs> Oh, and shit and so now every time i snort i i think of dsp and i think like god i would never want someone to compile all my snorts so i'm desperately trying not to fucking snort so much on, on mike 
I only know about Dark Side Phil and Wings of Redemption because Monkey makes fun of them on his Let's Play show all the time. Oh man, well, like, how can you not make fun of them? It, it sort of just blows my mind. Like, how can you suck as much as uh, Dark Side Phil? Like, who's a fucking scumbag? I, I think, and, and uh, he's either bad with money or he's lying about all of it. I, I don't know if people have been able to uh, to uh, uh, obtain the truth as far as his uh, duplexes uh, foreclosure but like the, the guy yelled at his wife for having to go to a hospital uh had to go to the hospital or the emergency room one time because she had a really wicked freaking bad anxiety at attack and uh, there i go and, and, and fucking wings of redemption it's just like it's just you know th that's a case for burning people at the fucking stake right there man i, I swear to god like, like, dude, you need to just chill the hell out, man. Like, you could have life in the palm of your hand if you want, but, like, dude, you, you just, you really screw, I, I don't know, man. You, you can really point out a lot of screw-ups on the internet, you know. But today, we're not talking about screw-ups on the internet. That's another topic for another day. We're talking about food. And, you know, I know the first, like, ten minutes of this was really, really depressing because I'm talking about, like, Stuffing fucking meatballs down my goddamn throat and being like depressed like hell. How depressed we are because we're fat, disgusting creatures. Oh yeah, like oh dude, like we're we're like uh we're like the Nosferatu, uh, uh, of the vampire universe, uh, except with people, you know. Like we're just we exist only in darkness, and we're like, <sighs> get away I'm from me. I'm seventeen years old and three hundred eighty pounds. It's damn. Oh okay. wow, wow, dude, Jesus. Yeah, like, dude, we, we, we both need to, we both need to just do some fucking setups and just be done with it. It's, it's really, I ate we're a making a fucking box of cookies like 10 minutes ago. I'm a depressed fat fuck. I mean, well, if you really think about it, being fat because of food, I mean, we can do it, but we, we just have to, we, we have to like slap ourselves a couple times and go, hey man, listen, you don't need to eat, like, you know, that meatball sub or that box of cookies or something. You need, like, maybe just go for a walk around the block. But you know what fucking sucks is, like, trying to walk after you eat because it's not like the itis uh, sets in yet, but it's just like that, that just, uh, uh, you know, all your food is just settling in your freaking gut and you're just sitting there going, oh, God, I don't want to fucking move at all. And, you know... About six or seven times out of ten, it's because you really enjoyed the thing that you ate. But then there's the the rest of the time where you're like, oh, God, that was not good at all. Oh, I feel disgusting. Like uh, Jim Gaffigan has one of my favorite jokes is like, you know how uh, whatever, uh, how uh, sometimes whenever you eat too much, you get sick? Isn't that an awesome feeling? And, you know, everyone laughs and stuff, but sometimes it's sort of like, ugh. I really shouldn't have ate that like that other slice of pizza or or ate that other sandwich cuz I'm a fan of sandwiches. I'm going to be talking about sandwiches a lot people. So I hope you're hope you're strapped in and strap on for this little one. And get like five plates of like the most piled up amount of bullshit I can fit. See, I, I gotten really be much much better in the last several years about not doing that. Like having like, you know, decent portions. Like I, I just have like I I'll do like a salad. And then I'll have, like, the actual dinner plate and maybe, like, a few things of, like, what I wanted to eat See, extra about. my problem about. is I hate salad. I hate raw vegetables. I love salad. And I don't like all raw vegetables, but I like some of them. But I don't, I don't like, I don't like raw carrots or cauliflower or broccoli. But I like vegetables mushrooms. and be cooked. Uh, I, I I don't even know how I feel about that either because I don't I, I dislike the same several groups of vegetables raw and cooked just because I hate fucking eating broccoli man I, I absolutely cannot stand it I hate eating oh, cauliflower either <clears throat> and cauliflower why like I don't know what it is it's just the texture does not agree with my palate and, and just the taste of it makes me just want to retch all over like whatever I'm sitting in front of. I mean, different strokes for different folks. I literally like the taste of cauliflower and broccoli. Right, right, right. I can totally understand that. But, you know, enough about the foods that we freaking hate. Tell me about the foods that you love. 
Like uh, Riley, and let's go ahead and start I've with you. Thinking about all day. Here's one that I've been thinking about all day. I'm like, I gotta bring in a nice, underrated food that I adore, and I've got the perfect one. Oh, would that be eggplant Fucking... parmesan? Um, I don't think eggplant parmesan is underrated. A lot of people love it, and I love it too. But I know I just like saying eggplant parmesan. It's my favorite. <laughs> but I it totally stole a the spotlight from you. But go ahead. Um, cornbread. Cornbread? Cornbread's good. I, I live in the south, so I, I can eat cornbread. Love cornbread. Yeah, I, I live in Man. the south. I live in the south, so I can eat cornbread any time of day. But I guess like you're you're different in your location. So, like, how, how do northerners? I mean, you can buy it at a store, but like it's not. Yeah, but super you... available. Yeah, but you want to like cook it at home, like you know, like a, a real person of worth, you know, because like store bought yeah. cornbread's kind of disgusting. Like you got to make. It I yourself like it. I, I don't think I've ever eaten. No, I've eaten homemade cornbread before, and it's obviously better. But I've, I've never been against like store bought packaged bullshit. It's usually like almost just as good, and the same applies for cornbread. Cornbread is just like, it's the best. It's the best sweet. I love it. I want to eat it all the time. You could, the you, the perfect birthday cake for me. Fucking t- put some frosting on some cornbread. There you go. Oh my god! Perfect. Really? Wow! <laughs> really? Frosting on cornbread? I ain't never thought about that. I've never before. tried that. I've never tried it, but I'm like, it tastes. It's like such a good, like sweet bread that I'm like, I want to fucking eat a cake made out of this because it's so sweet and good. Oh man, dude. See, I I I love cornbread, but I don't really like sweet cornbread that much. I, I gotta have the unsweet kind because I think that is that that's my shit. Right there, man. That, that's how. That's. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried unsweet cornbread. All the ones that I, all the cornbread that I eat is the sweet kind, and I really fucking love it. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get you. I get you. But uh, I gotta tell you one thing, man. What you there's a dish where you you saute up a little bit of meat and you put some taco seasoning under there, right? Like about half a pound to a pound's worth, right? And you mix uh, yeah. uh, on top of it some cornbread mix, and you cook the bastard like you cook freaking regular cornbread, right? And you cook it up, and you have like a a, a meat and bread dish that you slap some hot sauce and some uh, and some uh, sour cream on. It's freaking delicious, dude. It's like a little bit. It's very Tex-Mexy. It's very Americanized uh, version of a. Uh, uh, like a, 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 a Hispanic dish. I, I forgot specifically what it's called, but it's fucking delicious, man. Hell yeah, that sounds delicious. Now, I'll tell you besides uh, besides eggplant parmesan, uh, that that's that's one like dish I absolutely love because there's nothing like the because like eggplant by itself, like you gotta have some sauce on it. Because, like, you can saute... Well, I guess you don't have to... Like, you can saute it a little bit. Have some decent olive oil on it. And I, I can munch on eggplant for freaking days and not get tired of it. It's just so much better with a sauce and some cheese and some sausage on it. But I'll tell you, my other favorite food is uh, uh, burritos, man. And, and tacos come in, like, a, a very, very close third. But, like, I, I think burritos are just the shit. Because someone must have been drunk one day when they thought to themselves, well, I have this flatbread uh, thing, you know, called a tortilla. Well, what if I just slap some beans and some meat? Like, uh, you got to think, like, how many ingredients did they get uh, get to that they uh, went through before they got to the winning combination? Because uh, uh, beans and meat and cheese and guacamole and all that stuff, it seems to just work out fucking fantastically like uh i i think i honestly do think besides sliced bread uh the tortilla is the most versatile uh bread object or the carbohydrate uh, uh object that we've ever invented now i think it speaks highly of our species that we can create such a versatile little item that we can use for many different things but yeah, like that, and that's and that's why burritos are the shit because like you could just you could just slap fuck you phone, you you could just slap so <laughs> so many like decent uh, uh mark it down uh, uh, again again Mr. Phone mark phone? it down. <laughs> uh, no, I'll I'll just keep it and fuck it. I I don't care. I, I'm just uh, I'm I'm gonna be like I'm gonna do this like my steak. You know I'm gonna just dehorn it, wipe his ass, and send it on its way. 
that's how I'm going to do this. Like, I, I don't really care. Okay. We're, we're, we're late, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, I'm sure that people will like it. It's a part of the charm. Because, you know, we try not to take th too many things too seriously. But, uh, yeah, man. At least you're not like me and you put out, like, half your podcast completely untouched. Oh, no. I I'll, I'll listen to the entire thing before uh, – before I, I, I officially, unless, like, I'm just in, like, such a bad mood or, like, I just feel like ass. And I'm like, oh, fuck it, man. Here, here's a couple of filters on the audio. Uh, get this, get this, get this. Hope I didn't forget anything. And whoosh, there, I put it off into YouTube land, into Internetville. And hopefully, you know, it, you know, I have no money to give it, but I, I you're a man now, dog. So, you know, go out there and make your way into the world all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And then it just gets fucking punched. Yep. In the, and then it gets punched in the stomach and robbed and left in a freaking gutter somewhere. Oh, God. This is dark. Oh, yeah. It's it's going to be dark here because we're talking about food. Mm-mm-mm. But not... You know what's not really good? Yeah, you know what's, what, really what, what's food? What, what's really good, man? I mean, you talk about eggplant mar parmesan made me remember chicken parmesan chicken parmesan is the absolute like one of the best freaking chicken dishes you can ever have man i love chicken parmesan. there was one day where like um this is actually a fun little story um back in 2016 i was in like ninth grade maybe eighth grade and we had a party for election night my history my history teacher hosted today election night party and they had chicken parmesan like they had a bunch of fucking chicken parmesan that like they made in their kitchen and shit like my history teacher and his wife made fucking chicken parmesan and like you could get as much as you wanted and there was more than enough for everybody so i ate like a stupid amount of chicken parmesan <laughs> at this election night party i ate like fucking five plates of chicken parmesan <laughs> Well, like, you know, these, these people should, like, be aware of us fatties, you know? Like, you shouldn't say, eat all you want, take all you want, or eat all you take, take all you want, you know? You you gotta be wary of that. That's like saying... Yeah, uh, whenever I go to parties, I fucking stuff myself. Like, there was... I went to a birthday party recently, and I never actually had a piece of cake, of the actual birthday cake, but that was because I ate, like, ten cupcakes. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> It's just, you see, the dance floor was, like, directly next to the dessert table. So it was, like, after I'm at the dance floor doing, like, the cha-cha slide or whatever bullshit, oh, I yeah, just kept you... running by and grabbing a... <laughs> <laughs> he dropped again. <laughs> oh, man, you know... Oh, there, there you go, there you go, there he is, there he is. Fucking anyway. Discord, man. Anyway. Okay, yeah, you, you were saying that you were. Cupcakes. Yeah, you, like, see, I, that's, that's what I loved about high school. You know that there would be a little like, uh, well, uh, 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 what do they say in the industry? A craft service table, at, at a, uh, at, at a fucking uh, dance, right? So you know me, I would like do the robot and, and moonwalk my way over to the table. Just because, <laughs> just so like people don't, sus just so people don't suspect me, they're like, oh, because the last thing you want to be as a fatty is to like get noticed that you're about to eat, right? Like, because we yeah, do, it's always the anxiety thing for me is like, when I don't want to be the first one to touch the food. Like, even though the food is open, I'm like, I gotta wait for all the other people to gravitate towards the food. See, but then like at this this birthday party, they had like candy and shit. Like, they gave you like. That you could get like a little bag and fill it with fucking Kit Kats and M and M's and shit. I I went I went hard at this party. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see, like that's the thing, you know. See, that's the thing, you know. Uh, I I can't really uh, uh I can help myself. Uh oh, in the fucking dessert table. You're you're deafened, bro. Mo. Mo yeah, food? you're you're deafened. Did Mo die? No. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh God, I got deaf. I got deafened somehow. You got deafenicated. That's that's what happened to you. Oh, so, yeah, here. But yeah, I went. I went fucking ridiculous in that dinner table. 
see, the dessert table. Yeah, see, like, my, my anxiety doesn't really come from, like, being the first to eat because I don't care. Like, w once I'm hungry and I'm going to eat, you know, I, I don't really care about it. it it's like you don't want to, like, uh, be the first one to, like, run. Like, I, I've caught myself when I was your age running to the thing and that's like the thing that you gotta <laughs> fucking cut off like real quick because everyone like dude i got clowned on hard in school for like speed walking to the buffet it's like ha ah, look at fatty he's gonna go eat some food he's gonna come back with a lot ha 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 you know like they, they fucking look at me you like see, the thing about I, I i am like because i'm like a fat and stupid i am like the lol cow of my friend group so to say but they also still like me, so they're not, like, mean about it. But they do always have themselves a chuckle when they see me fucking devouring all of the food ever. Yeah, like, dude, like, I, I, I realized when I was fat this one time uh, in high school when I was in ninth grade. I was sitting with some friends of mine, and I was eating some, th I was eating some uh, uh, corn dog, right? And all of them, they were just skinny as shit, and they, they ate some of their stuff, and... I think they were probably on like some sort of uppers, like mini thins or something like that. Uh, before my adorable little niece uh, interrupted me, uh, I, 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 I I caught my I uh, was sitting with my friends and I think they were on uppers, right? Because they didn't eat a whole lot, at least not at school, because uh, they would give their food away to like a bunch of people, right? And I just happen to be the lucky recipient of, we're on drugs and we don't want to eat. Eat our food. And it happened to be fucking corn dogs, right? So I sat down. Yeah. I, start, I started munching on my corn dog first bite. And they were like, hey, Mo, do you want my corn dog? And then, no, 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 no. I got five fucking corn dogs. And I was oh like. Oh, my God. I was like. I have a story. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish this. I was like, all right. This okay. is awesome. I downed all of them. Talked. The, we got a lunch hour, right? I, I managed to eat my freaking five corn dog, uh, my six corn dogs, in like twenty fucking minutes, right? And I, uh -huh. I, I, I noticed after they left me, how just disgustingly sluggish and slow I was feeling, and I thought to myself, "Oh wow, that's because I ate five, I ate six corn dogs." My God, I'm so fucking disgusting. And then I was bummed I out the for the rest of the day. <laughs> in yeah. school. Like, if kids didn't want their food or drink, they'd be like, hey, Riley, you want this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was a little bit the same, too. But then my other friends got fat. And I started losing weight because they started eating all their food. And that made me feel a little bit better because I wasn't just a disgusting fucking beluga whale anymore in my mind's eye. So, like, hell yeah, like, fucking spread the wealth around. Like, you get fat. Like, here, here's some of my pounds, okay? You take them. But, you know. There was this one time I was on a big field trip. We were on, it was actually my last hurrah with this particular group of people because it was my, it was a 10th grade summer field trip and I was, transferring schools for 11th grade so this was like the last time i ran with this group and it was a college trip where we went and we toured a bunch of colleges and we went to this really nice restaurant which had like really good fucking chicken like i had i don't remember what i had some with chicken and mushrooms and cheese it was very good that sounds all sorts so of we're, good we're at this like we're at this prof like a nice professional restaurant at this big old dinner table, fancy dinner table, and, like, somebody's trying to give me their food, and I'm, like, I I'm trepidatious to accept it because it looks even weirder. It looks even weirder and even more pathetic in, like, a fancy restaurant when we're sitting here eating all nice. The people are giving me all their fucking food, and I'm consuming it like a fatty. Oh, man. But, like, I got... I got negged into taking the food, and I did, in fact, eat more fucking chicken. I know. Like, you know, I, I have a, a theory. At least 25% of the obesity rates are other people offering us fatties more food. And we're like, I'm really not trying to take it. I'm actually quite content with the portions I have. No, fatty. You uh, got to eat the it. opposite for me. I actually wanted it. Like, I actually pursued it, but it, it became... It became default that everybody's like, if I don't want this food, I'm going to give it to him. And we were when we were in a fancy restaurant setting, I'm like, I'm slightly more embarrassed about taking it here. But 
It's like, well, yeah, but then they have to uh, do the, the awkward walk of shame to the maitre d' and ask them, excuse me, sir, but do you happen to have a doggy bag? And then, of course, the maitre d' is like, excuse me, sir, we do not have no, how you say, uh... <clears throat> Uh, a doggy bag, ho ho ho, <laughs> and then you know they, oh. of course, they look at you like you're garbage. After that, you know the person asking for the doggy bag are like, oh okay, I guess we're all just wasting food here. Fuck it, not my problem, not my, not my restaurant. But yeah, man, I, I mean, I, I'm sure she could have boxed it up, but like we were staying in fucking college dorms that night, we didn't exactly have ready access to microwaves. Oh man. College yeah, dorms. We're staying what? in like shitty college dorms, which were just like two beds and walls. Dude, college dorms are, it's such bullshit, man. Like, I even lived in student housing and it was still bullshit. But that's a story for another day. Uh, but yeah, I. Oh my I, God. This is this is kind of related to food. It's it's more of a drink, but drink is kind of a subject. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, we, were at a co- we were at the college, staying in the dorm rooms. And in, like, the hall, but out, outside, like, when you go downstairs from the dorm room, there was a hot chocolate vending machine. And I think I have put, like, $20 into this vending machine. <laughs> in a row? I, I, I was very fascinated by the fact... It was a coffee vending machine, actually, but it also had hot chocolate. I, it just mesmerized me. It's like, holy shit, it's a vending machine when I put the money in, and it fucking... A little paper cup shoots out, and it gets hot chocolate shot into it it's fucking awesome i know right like i i love you know i i love when you just find something that you thought was like a for you know like a, a foreign idea that you would never uh see this out in the wild but then when you find it it's like my mind is freaking blown but th- it's it's also can be embarrassing because i have a little story for you right here hang on one sec okay all right, sorry, I had to snort and it was a big one. Anyway, so yeah, I heard I heard a nice DSP snort. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> oh oh fuck it! I, I I don't care. I don't care anymore. Uh, but uh, when I was about twelve or thirteen, right? I never heard the word vending machine. It was, it was all uh, it was always uh, hey, let's just go to the snack machine and go get us something to eat, right? Because we never called it the vending machine. And I, I, I told uh, – we were at a, a, a park that had a bunch of sites and attractions and stuff. And the, we were coming up to the, the, the park benches. And there was a, a, a sign that says, uh, vending machines. And I told uh, – I asked my mom, hey, mom, let's go check out the vending machines. She's like, no, I don't want to go anywhere. Oh, come on. This might be something that we've never even seen before. And I came up with this magical, mystical freaking story about how <laughs> – how uh, something like our forefathers have probably showed, uh, never showed us before, uh, uh, never... Uh, like the Star Trek food generator? Yeah, exactly. I, I was like a freaking, uh, I was like someone that the, the Starship Enterprise picked up from like the 1800s and plopped down to, to like 1992, 1993 when this was happening. And my dad and my mom just start like laughing just a little bit, and they're like, "Okay, buddy, you go ahead and go over there." I was like, "I was like, all right," and I went over there, and I said, "Hey, these are all the snack machines." Oh, shit! And I went back, and my mom and dad, and my mom and dad were just laughing at me as I was. It was like, dude, it was like one of my first. It was really one of my first walks of shame, one of many in my life that I've taken. You know the you know the type of walk I'm talking about, where where your peers or your family are just literally pointing and laughing at you. That that was like the my first oh, really big I, one. I have some walk of shame stories. This one, this one's a tangent. It doesn't have to do with food, but just real quick, it has to do with that same trip that I was talking about. All right, go ahead. There was a point where we were at the college. And we were all showering. There was like a shower room. And Mr. Riley Brooks went to the shower and had a shower. And it was nice. It was fine. But I forgot my towel. Oh, bummer. I hate that shit. So I had to like yell until somebody heard me. And then like, hey, can you go get my towel in my room? God, I have I fucking hate that shit. 
Yeah, it was, right. it was rough. I, had to, I was standing naked in the shower just being like, anybody? Somebody? <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go ahead and end on, uh, on like, our, our favorite fast food restaurant. And uh, I think I have a suspicion, a sneaky suspicion about what I think yours is. But let me tell you. Interesting. Well, like, all right, let me let me go ahead and just guess. Is it Taco Bell? No. Oh, okay. M- I do McDonald's? really like Taco Bell, though. McDonald's? Uh, no, M- McDonald's is very, strictly mid-tier. McDonald's is oh, okay. the middle end. Oh, okay, food. well, w- w- what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Kentucky Fried Chicken, my dude. Oh, K- KFC's okay. Hell KFC's yeah. okay. Like, they're, they're little uh, dollar sandwiches that they had with a, a chicken strip in the middle of it and, like, a, that, that KFC sauce and the pickle. Dude, that was delicious, man. I've always loved the shit out of those. No, those. I just get myself a nice fucking bucket of fried chicken, baby. D- Hell whole... yeah. Oh, man, dude. Like, I've always <laughs> felt no, like No, not super... a whole bucket, but, like, me and my mom will get a bucket, and I'll eat, like, a bunch of fucking chicken. <clears throat> Oh, hell yeah, God. Like, one of my favorite things to do, even when I'm feeling bummed out, is to, like, gorge on a bunch of fried fucking chicken. It's just so absolutely delicious, man. Like, that shit will cure your depression. Because for some reason or another, like, with with beef and red meat, I always... Well, not always. That's a lie. Um, Sometimes I'll, I'll feel down, like, in the dumps. Whenever I get done eating it, but like no chicken dish whatsoever has ne- ever made me feel that way, and I guess because I always associate chicken with happy, and so I'll like just fucking munch down a uh, uh, chicken like no one's business, and I'll be like the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. But uh, yeah, fried chicken is so good. I love well, fried chicken. What's your favorite uh, menu item from KFC? Uh, just the chicken. Honestly, just some fucking fried chicken. Oh, classic, like oh, okay, just classic, classic fried, chicken? fried chicken. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, man, dude. I, I, I love the. I, I actually love, uh, both versions of it. Like I can eat either or if you put it in front of me, and I will not complain. Uh, cause like sometimes though, uh, uh churches and uh, uh, uh oh, uh, who's what's it's uh, 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 uh Popeyes. Uh, Popeyes will uh, come back, but sometimes Popeyes chicken it can be really, really hit or miss. Uh, just like Popeyes never really caught me. I never really liked Popeyes as much as I like KFC. I've never tried Churches. I've heard good things. Uh, uh, churches is really, really good. Uh, Popeyes, however, it can be really hit or miss. It used to be much better back in the day, but I guess they switched their their uh, flavoring or their their the way that they do things over there. It's not as good as it used to be. But, like, you know what I hate? Uh, like, and this is sort of a Subway restaurant uh, sort of problem. I hate it when... Subway's great. Subway's delicious. It's it's much better than... Well, I, I think I like Schlotzky's a whole lot. Oh, I've got a good question. I've got a good food question. All right, go ahead. What is your ideal Subway sub? When you go into Subway, what's oh, the oh, sub man. you get? What is your sub recipe? Oh, uh, well, my sub recipe lately... Uh, uh, oh, no, oh, he dropped again. All right, yeah, 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 because, uh, yeah, fucking Discord's being a bitch. But uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you, sometimes uh, my, my go-to, my, my regular sandwich that I can always eat and generally never really be disappointed in is the uh, foot-long over-roasted chicken breast on uh, uh on uh, Italian urban cheese uh foot long it's absolutely delicious and you know I'll I'll experiment with the toppings sometimes I'll have uh the uh southwest chipotle uh sauce on there sometimes I'll have the uh, the sweet the sweet onion and chicken and teriyaki sauce on there and it's absolutely delicious but I got to say my all-time favorite uh, Subway sub sandwich has got to be the uh, the sub club with bacon on it and like tons of cheese, uh, lettuce, tomato, olives, uh, 
what what was the other one I liked? Uh, uh, jalapenos and bell peppers, or uh, banana peppers. That's what banana we go. peppers. Yeah. yeah, it's just absolutely delicious, and, and like you can put any topping you want on there, but you almost don't need it because it's just that good. That that's my favorite sub sandwich. Uh, from over there. Schlotzky's I don't really go to very often, so I couldn't tell you which one it is, but generally I'll go to I'll go there. A uh, close second is uh the, the, the steak and cheese uh sub sandwich and then third is my oven roasted chicken titty. The steak and cheese is always underwhelming to me in Subway. It's it, not it's not it one can of be steak and cheeses out there. Like it, it can be yeah. because the employees like to cook like the steak much earlier in the morning so by midday you're getting it it's still like you you have to put it like a ton of like dressing on there just to wet it up a little bit and even then sometimes it's a little bit underwhelming but so um, my subway sub go-to is i get a foot long of course because i'm a fat fatty and who would ever eat a six inch sub um you're still looking good Eating your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Jared, and he's still looking good. You, Jared, eating your sandwich. You're all. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, bro. <laughs> the Italian urban cheese bread. Now, this sandwich is controversial. I'm sure it does not sound very appetizing to some people, but just here, here it is: Italian urban cheese bread, tuna. I knew it had something to do with tuna. (laughs) Yeah. Tuna, mozzarella cheese, jalapenos and banana peppers, toasted. Best Subway. I got to say that does sound good, though. But I I don't really like onions and other weird shit in my tuna fish because it's real off-putting because, like, tuna fish has, like, a specific taste that you're accustomed to. And God's honest truth, you really don't need to add anything else other than maybe a little bit of cheese. But just really, all you need is just mayo and, and tuna fish, and then boom. You're I like done. the I like the mix of the. I personally like the mix of the taste of the tuna and the spiciness of the jalapeno and banana pepper. Yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you this because like we're we're running out of time here. But I'll go ahead and say my favorite fast food restaurant. I have to say, it's fucking Taco Bell, man. I absolutely love, like. I can eat anything. They're pretty just, good. Yeah, I can eat just about anything off of that menu, and it's just. I don't think I've ever eaten anything like actually like fancy up the Taco Bell menu. I think I've only ever gotten like the shitty one dollar tacos. Oh, because whenever my mom decides to go to Taco Bell, it's like we don't have much money, so it's cheap fast food. See, here's the thing. Like, I used to love the dollar burritos. But the the regular burritos they have this uh the it's the onion cheese and weird Taco Bell sauce combination in like a small tortilla and you can give me like five of those I can shove them down my gullet and be so freaking happy because mm-hmm. those I think those burritos are just well, some of the absolute best thing. it's like it's like when you eat. It, it like when you have fond memories of eating cafeteria food when you were a kid in school, like. For me, it'd be like the pizzas and the spaghettis and stuff. And there's tons of really great uh, school cafeteria food from back in my day that I used to love and look forward to eating. Like, I, I would save my money if I ever had extra money and not go to the snack line and eat regular lunch just so I can have, like, the food or the the, the pizza or the hamburger or, or something that they had because I generally liked what they had over there. But, yeah, uh... So, final thoughts, I guess. Uh, what, what's a what's one of your favorite fast food items, Riley? Uh, I gotta say, we haven't talked about this much, but a, but a good fast food item is just a good old hamburger, my dude. A good old cheeseburger. Yeah, but specifically from where? Uh, the best place to get a cheeseburger in the fast food world probably Wendy's. Oh, oh! I gotta disagree with you there, man. Uh, it, it's the it's got to be the patty melt all the way from Waterburger, dude. Uh, Waterburger, I think I don't has. I think there is a there's a Waterburger anywhere near me. Oh yeah, because it's mostly a southern thing. Yeah, dude. Like once you hear about Waterburger, man, like you'll you'll throw all other burgers in the trash. Though I have to say, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, McDonald's is a uh, uh, quarter pounder with cheese comes in a close second because I think it's pretty damn good. And I, I love eating those, but I, I love it. But when it comes to burgers, when it comes to hamburgers, man, definitely Whataburger all the way. But anyway, I'd have to try it. Definitely, somewhere. definitely, Keep definitely. Well, all right, Riley. Uh, well, that was a hell of a great podcast. I actually had a whole lot of fun recording of this. Uh, where can they find you? What's your stuff? Go ahead and plug your junk, huh? All right, time for plugging all my junk. My Twitter is at Riley Tweets. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. You can find Pixels, Polygons, and Fun wherever podcasts are found. You can find Pokemon Variety Hour on Spotify or Stitcher. And most importantly, you can find the Riley Podcast Mega Feed on Spotify or Stitcher, which is the home for all the podcasts that I man, that I produce uh, personally with my friends that aren't affiliated with any sort of network, just me making a bunch of podcasts. So please go subscribe and listen to the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. It would mean a lot to me. (laughs) <laughs> yes, it would mean a whole lot if you would consume our content, everyone. And of course, everything will be it in the link. It would mean a lot to me if you specifically consume that specific piece of content. Oh, yes, specifically. And of course, links will be in the description. And you can also find me at twitch.tv slash modiggity, or you can find me at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash modiggity42. You can check me out on Twitter at Mo- uh, happy good boy 420 at happy good boy 420 and mo diggity 42 on instagram basically you can just find me anywhere on the internet if you just search up mo diggity well thanks a lot everyone i really appreciate it hopefully everyone will be back at 100 percent capacity by next week and all of us will be so sick or feeling congested and uh thanks for listening and i'll see you guys next week see you around ta-ta Bye. Girl. <laughs>